On southbound 75 in Richardson, it is a much different situation from what we saw overnight when a deadly crash backed up traffic for eight hours. Tonight, we're learning more about the victims, including a six-year-old girl. Janelle Ford is live along 75 to bring us up to speed. Well, you know, Chris, when we were first reporting on this story this morning, we didn't really have a clear picture yet of the scope of this tragedy. Now we know that seven people were hurt, three people are dead, and Richardson police say it all started with a stalled car. They say this started just before midnight when they got a call about a Cadillac SUV stopped in the southbound HOV lanes on 75 near Renner Road. Police say the driver and the six passengers got out of that car and were waiting for help when a Lexus SUV crashed into the back of the Cadillac. Police say within moments, a Dodge sedan crashed into the back of the Lexus, and those cars also hit a Nissan sedan. Now, we just learned the IDs of the three people killed. 19-year-old Aliyah Khalid was one of the passengers in the Cadillac. She died at the scene. And then both 27-year-old Haley Taylor, who was driving the Lexus, and her 6-year-old daughter died at the hospital. Now, the two people in the Dodge were hurt and taken to the hospital. Luckily, they're expected to be okay. The driver of the Cadillac and four of its other passengers were taken to the hospital for treatment as well. We haven't gotten an update on their status yet. And then the seventh person in that SUV, fortunately, was not hurt. Neither were the two people in the Nissan. And again, it's still a very sad and unfortunate situation, but also an opportunity uh, for this very important reminder that according to AAA, if you find yourself stalled on the highway, the safest thing to do is to make sure that your lights and your hazards are on and stay in your car with your seatbelt on. Reporting here in Dallas County, I'm Janelle Ford. Back Absolutely. To you. Thank you for that, uh, Janelle. Well, it is.